welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince. I'm going to show you how I did my hair. I've been wanting to do some locks for a while now, so here we are. I have some locks on my channel already, but I wanted more of the bohemian, soft, carefree lock. And I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's easy. It's easy, but it's tedious, okay? so. It's not gonna be a quick hairstyle, but it's very much worth it. Um, so if you wanna see how I did this, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so let's get to the human hair. So for human hair, I used two types, all right? Now I used some old hair that I had. This is the first type of hair. This is what it looks like. Now this hair I actually bought on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down in the description and I'll kind of show you like what that hair looks like how I would wear it right here on this side. Now this hair, um, I do hair, so people be leaving hair with me and I found this, okay? But this is the texture of it. You can see this is the length. So yeah, I'll put the length and stuff in the description box, but this hair um, that I use, I will use in all different types of lengths, but you wanna get something that's at least 16 to 18 inches because the type of look that I was going for, I wanted the hair to look a little bit full. So you can go shorter, that's on you, but I would suggest at least 16 to 18 inches. So this is the human hair that I use. You don't have to use exactly what I use, but for texture reference, this is what it looks like. And when you get this hair, please wash it before you use it because it comes in like a jerry curl pattern and you don't want it to look like that, okay? For the synthetic hair, this is what we got here. It's the Janet Marley style. I will put the information in the description box, but this is what it looks like. And then, and then for the water wave hair, this is what I use. This is called the a Freezum three times water wave. This is what it looked like. It's basically, um, you know, the passion twist hair. I love this hair more than the, um, you know, the, what is it? You know what I'm talking about. The one, the passion twist hair that everybody uses. This hair is extremely soft and it doesn't have that coating or that cast on it. Okay, so that's the type of hair I use. Of course, you're gonna need you know, your stuff. This is what I like to use. Focus, focus, focus. This is what I like to use. Okay, there it is. This is what I like to use, okay? Organics Edge Smoothing Gel, all right? Of course, you're gonna need your rat tail comb and your um, clips, all right? So I already took a section out. And this is my hair right here. So we are going to just first attach the Marty hair. So this is what the Marley hair looks like out. Excuse me if I'm looking in two different directions, I'm trying not to look at myself. But this is what the Marley hair looks like out the pack. I'm gonna use about this much. This is the size of the piece I wanna use. I don't want to put too much hair because I don't want the locks to be overly thick. Now, this is the front piece and I don't want this one super long. I like for my locks to be layered, so I'll just cut that in half, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is take it apart and then I'm going to do that thing where you cross the layer like that. So this is about the length that I want. Now, I am going to put some of the edge smoothing gel on my part. This is what I always do. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Now I'm gonna braid down loosely until I pass my natural hair. 
You can either braid or twist. I'm gonna braid and switch over to a two strand twist. Switching over. Now, when I do my hair, I always try to keep, you know, keep them the same. So keep the lengths the same. So I'm gonna stop this lock right. I'm gonna stop this lock right where the other one ends. So about right there, twist it down. I think the lock ended right here. And be aware that this hair has a little stretch. So when you wrap it, it's gonna stretch a little bit. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this extra hair. See, it's too long, so I'm gonna cut it off. And I'm gonna go in and add in some of the curly, the curly human hair at the end. So you can use whatever size you want, it's up to you, but you know, the, the, more, hair you, the more human hair you use, the fuller it's gonna look. So I just cut off a piece. I'm gonna pull out that extra hair that's usually on the ends. Now I'm gonna to start to braid. I'm gonna to start to braid the end of my hair. I'm trying to block my face so it doesn't focus on me. Okay, yeah. Start to braid the end of my hair in a small braid. And then I'm going to add this hair in at the end. Just like adding in, just like as if you would add in, you know, hair throughout. And just keep braiding it down. and you have your piecing at the end. Now, one thing I do recommend you do, I recommend, I don't have any hair glue, okay? But I recommend you glue this with hair glue and then roll it, okay? I didn't do this, don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Now, you can add in hair also throughout the lock. That will be easy. Like, just like how I added it in at the bottom. I mean, not the lock, your braid. Just like how I added the hair in at the bottom, you can add hair in like tree braids. But for whatever reason, I was being slow and didn't do that. So I'm gonna add as much hair as I feel I want using the crochet needle. So I'm gonna take two pieces of the human hair, I mean two pieces of the curlier human hair and then I'll just take one of the longer pieces of the other type of hair and I'll just cut it off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the crochet, I'm gonna use my crochet needle and I'm gonna put it through my braid. Grab the hair and pull it through like that. Now, I don't recommend you do this. I recommend you add the hair in as you go, okay? For whatever reason, I wanted to try something new. I'm just here to tell you this is not the best te best technique, but this is what I did and it worked. It worked okay. So again, I'm just going to kind of loop this through like this. and then catching the human here and pulling it through. All right, so you're basically making tree braids without, you know, before you put the, um, the lock in.
All right. Okay, so now we are going to wrap the lock. So I'm just gonna use one piece. And again, I like to cut this hair in half. It's, it's easier to work with when you cut the hair in half. So I'm cutting it in half. And then I'm gonna separate the hair. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to wrap the lock. Just stretching it a little bit. And then laying it flat against my head. You want the short piece flat and then the long piece like this. And you're gonna to start to wrap at the root. You can crochet it into the root if you want to. I just decided not to do that. But now I'm going to wrap. Wrap it a good five to six times, okay? Okay. Now we can see what we have going on there. Now you're just gonna start to wrap down the lock. Just keep it a little bit tight at the root so that it doesn't unravel. Make sure the hair is spread out okay and wrap now here comes the annoying part you want to make sure the human hair is out of the way so move it take a clip and clip it out the way i'm struggling right now because i'm using the phone to see not a mirror but that's out of the way so we're going to continue to wrap now now you can start to wrap a little bit looser, you know, to get that more distressed butterfly, not really butterfly lock, but you know that distressed look, I'm not wrapping too tight. It's gonna loosen up eventually. Okay, we're almost to the next piece, which is right here. Just keep wrapping. Okay, when you get to this piece, you want to wrap over it so it's pushing it downward just a little bit. Wrap over it so it's pushing it down, if that makes any sense. Now that we've met, met the next piece, we're going to grab it with a clip and move it out of the way, okay? And just keep wrapping down, wrapping down, wrapping down. Here's the next piece. Remember, go, go over it so it's not like, you know, that go over it so it can secure it a little bit more. Okay, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, and then pull it up and pin it off the way. And then keep wrapping. Um, just a quick shout out real quick. I want to say thank you to the young woman that I met in Houston in a bathroom at um, Chapman and Kirby. Y'all, I was lit and she came up to me. She was like, are you from YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. And she just really encouraged me to keep going. Let me not get emotional. To keep going and to not give up. So shout out to you. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I'm going to cut here. <laughs> Excuse me. Why? What is wrong with me? So I'm getting to the next um, piece, right? But I don't want to use all of this. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And we're going to stretch it out again. And then I'm just going to continue to wrap. Just make sure you get it as fluffy and stretched out as you can. That's going to help it. Um, wrap better and look better to me in my opinion so now that we're here we're just going to fold it like this have that short end laying on the lock and then use the longer end to continue to wrap wrap this a little tight if you want you can add some nail glue right here too and then start to move down
start to rip down. Okay, and then once again, I will add some nail glue right here. Add some nail glue, 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 glue. Wrap it around. Like I said, please do as I say, not as I'm doing. And then start to wrap the rest of the hair, the remainder of the hair back up the lock. And then you want to palm roll it just a little bit. And there you have it. Okay, there you have it. All right. So then just take the clips out. And there you go, that's what it's looking like. Okay, it's like a tree braid, but a lock. Now, sometimes the hair will stick out in ways that I didn't care for, so I will take my crochet hook, stick it through my lock, and grab it, close the hook, and pull it through so it's facing down or something. Not all the hair didn't come through, but that's okay. Grab it again. Grab it with the hook, pull it through. Okay. But that is pretty much how I did my hair and I love it. Um, so I purposely left all this hair out. Okay. That's done on purpose. I like to do that and I like to save what edges I have left, okay? Let me see, what should I tell you guys about this style that you may have questions to? So, once again, I layered my locks. I don't like for my locks all to be one length. I love layered braids because it frames the face better, in my opinion. Um, but the ones in the back, the longer ones, I didn't cut the hair when I first added it. So I would just take one full piece, add it in the back, and yeah, okay? And then as I got higher up, then I will make the locks a little shorter, a little shorter, and so forth and so on, okay? That's how I did that. Um, let's see, okay, I'll let you guys know how many locks I have. I know most people usually use like, how many braids or locks is in your head? Here it is right here. Um, these locks are not heavy. They are not stiff. They are very lightweight. The hair that I show you that I, that I use, I really, really absolutely love that hair. And whenever I do my hair, that's what I'm using. Um, yeah, period. Um, I'll link some stuff from Amazon that may have good or similar reviews just in case. Um, most sometimes people tell me that this hair is not in their area so you can always find stuff on Amazon and I'll link some stuff in the description box so you guys can look for it um yeah I don't really I y'all this is <laughs> this is it okay you guys um I love my hair so much I really really love the hair so much I don't know what else to say. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer those questions. So let me know what you guys think of this tutorial and I will see you later. But before I see you later, <laughs> I'll show you my parts so you can kind of get a gist of how I parted my hair. This is what my parts are looking like. And once again, my hair is about a week and a half old. Okay, do with that as you will. This is like what they look like from the middle. This is the middle action is given. Okay, excuse my belly. <laughs> so when you're putting these human hair um, pieces on, you wanna put anywhere from two to four 
maybe even five pieces of hair on each one. So of course I've alternated how many pieces I use per lock because I wanted it to look, of course, you know, not uniform. So sometimes I will put, you know, maybe just one, two pieces and then i'll have the tail in at the end okay but like the one i showed you um i put three pieces on that um i believe this one has like four pieces on it and like the closer i got to the top of my hair i put more um pieces on there because i wanted to be a little bit more full looking so keep that in mind when you're doing your hair depending on how full you want it to look with the human hair then that's how much hair you wanna put on each lock. I will say throughout time that the hair will start to, um, the hair will start to compress. So when you wake up, when you first do your hair, it's gonna look really full and pretty, but then when you put your bonnet on and take it off the next day, it's, you're gonna be like, what the hell happened to my hair? So just spray your hair with some water, um, scrunch the locks, don't run your, or rake your fingers through. This is not natural hair scrunch it with some water and then you know do one of these things and then the hair will come back to life and look a little bit more better i won't say more full it's not going to look as full as those first couple of days um because the hair is going to start to get weighed down by like oils and stuff you put in your hair and product and all that type of different stuff um I did put a little bit of foam on there because the human hair that I used was older hair and it was really frizzy. So I did put some foam on the curlier pieces just to get it to shape back into, you know, a little curly thingy. But yeah, okay you guys, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I know I've been back and forth and haven't been on here, I'm really contemplating about keeping it going, but I don't know. No, let, let me not say that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it going. Just watch my other videos. Let me know what you like in the comment section, what type of um, content you like for me in the comment section. But I'm also gonna put content up here that I like or things that I feel like I wanna share with you too. Okay, so bye you guys. I'll see you next time.